you so much, Estefan. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Give it up one more time. Yeah. So my name is Katya. I also go by Kathy. But more importantly, uh, for those of you that are still wondering, yes, I am totally straight, actually. <laughs> no, no, I'm just messing with you. I'm obviously a lesbian. <laughs> Now don't worry, this show is not just gonna be about me being gay, okay? I'm also a flight attendant. And I'd like to start off by uh, saying that it's actually a lot harder than it seems, okay? Um, and recently, I've actually been finding it's really difficult to keep up with passengers' new levels of expectations on board, yeah. Like the other day, a passenger comes to the back galley, frantic. Excuse me, did you bring any toys for my children? I'm like, um, no? Did you bring any toys for your children? She's like, no, I didn't. I'm like, oh, so you didn't bring any toys for your children? And I didn't bring any toys for your children? What the hell were we thinking? Now, what's even more frustrating is coming home from work. Because my wife thinks that just because I'm a flight attendant, I'd been away on vacation. <laughs> she says things like, she's Mexican, by the way. Well, babe, while you were in Germany, working, eating a schnitzel. I'm like, babe, why do you do this? Do you know how tired I am? These are like 16-hour shifts. I'm jet-lagged. Passengers are crazy. Nobody knows how to wear their masks properly, like Tomas. <laughs> and now people think I have to bring toys for their children. I'm exhausted. She's like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. That sounds terrible. I'm like, yes, thank you. It was. But the schnitzel was so good. I felt like I was on vacation. <laughs> Now, what I love about relationships is that it keeps you honest. You know what I mean? Anybody in the crowd here by a show of hands married or like in a long-term relationship? Oh, great, you right here in the front. Sir, how long have you been married? I said you've been in a relationship for two Oh, you've been in a relationship for two years. What's your name? Oh, amazing, what a coincidence. She's Mexican, for those who didn't hear. Um, I hired him to be here. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just joking. What's your name, sir, sorry? Mahid. Oh, that's who Stefan was talking. Okay. Um, so, are you are you here with your with your sister? Sister. Okay. Amazing. So you're not here with your partner. No, she has to work. Oh, okay. Okay. How, sorry. How long did you say you were together? Two years. Two years. Oh, okay. So you guys are still happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Um, so this won't be awkward because she's not here. So just feel free to be honest. Um, in your opinion. Uh, who would you say is the better looking one in your relationship? <laughs> Just be honest. She's not here. <laughs> okay, just use your survival skills. <laughs> Okay, amazing, amazing. Liar. Yeah. I didn't want to say it, but somebody in the back called you a liar, but whatever. Um, similarly, in, in my relationship, um, my, my wife is actually very attractive, and although I know I'm quite the catch, um, she was obviously the better looking one. Now, um, do you know what my biggest fear is? My biggest fear is asking my wife if she would be willing to start an open relationship. Because I know she's just going to get way more pussy than I do. <laughs> I don't think it ends well for me. Now, thank you. Thank you. Give it up for my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, I got to say, people do say I talk a little too much about my wife, and fair enough. Thank you. One of my friends in the back there. Um, and so, I, you know, my class wanted to know a little bit more about my past relationships. And so when I really started thinking about it, I realized that every person I've dated since high school is like an evolved version of the previous person. I'll tell you what I mean. So I actually started off by dating men. Don't worry, this ends well. <laughs> 
So boyfriend one, total asshole, okay? I'm over it. Boyfriend two, a lot nicer, okay? Very sexy. And he had a really big dick, which was scary. So scary. Now, boyfriend three, um, also nice, uh, but he had money. And he was also like a, like a bodybuilder, so he had really big pecs. Um, but he had a really small penis. So it's okay, you can see how the guys are getting a lot nicer, starting to look more like women. No, we're on the right track. Now, thank you, I know, right direction, right direction, right? Thank you. Now, the next guy was actually very feminine, okay? He was such a sweetheart. Super attentive. I, I wasn't even sure if he was like male or female. You know, basically like Andrea. <laughs> so after him, I met my wife, which was incredible. But the thing was that my wife had only been dating men right before me as well. So eventually, we were like, okay, babe. I mean, I love you. But we can't be the only women we'll ever sleep with, like, forever. Plus, our men numbers are way too high at this point. Like, we really gotta bring our woman average up, you know, if we're gonna be proper lesbians. It's <laughs> fair, fair point. It's in the handbook. Now, what we did was we broke up for a year. This is true, we broke up for a year. We slept with as many women as possible, and we got back together. And we've been married for five years ever since. Thank you very much. Now, what really bugs me is when we travel together, though. Okay, because I'm a flight attendant, she just assumes that I'm in charge of all, in charge of all the travel plans, all the packing. And last time we went to Mexico, we got to the airport, and she's like, Baby, did you pack the strap on? <laughs> Uh, I'm like, no. Did you pack the strap on? She said, no, I didn't. I'm like, so you didn't pack the strap on? And I didn't pack the strap on? What the hell 